Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 3-9-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 76. And uh, today uh, I am 69% complete, and I'm in the Intermediate HTML and CSS, sec CSS section. And I have completed the CSS concept section all the way down to the project. So we're going to start the sign up form project today. And with that said, let's get started. So it says, um, before we start, um, I'm going to say that I, I've been covering a lot of material lately. I've, go, I've covered eight modules in the last like five, six days or so. Um, a lot of reading, a lot of mater new material. And I think I just kind of, I didn't burn myself out, but I kind of, I kind of, um, I kind of wore out a little bit. Um, burnout's not the right word. I'm, it's, I don't know what, what it is really, but just feeling a little tired. Um, so I think I'm going to slow the pace up just a little bit. Um, there's no need to rush. I honestly don't know why I felt the need to rush through those. Um, I didn't rush, rush. It's just there was a ton of material and, um, and there really wasn't a need to go that quick. I think I'm just excited to get get to more JavaScript and get to the back end and and I gotta learn to um, embrace the journey, love the journey and take it a day at a time. And so I don't want to burn out and that's what I don't want to do. So what I'm telling you guys is I'm probably gonna slow up a little bit. Um, we're gonna do this live today together, the sign up forms uh, step one. So it'll be a little bit different, a little bit treat for you. And then I think I'm going to slow up a little bit. We'll talk at the end kind of like what we're going to do going forward. This is going to be a multi-part uh, series as well, but I'm not going to um, overexert myself. Um, and I'm not doing it for the sake of the videos or anything like that. It's just um, for the sake of just going fast. I don't need to do that. So um, I think for my, my mental health, my sanity, I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because – um, I do work a full-time job and I have a family and, and it's, it's a lot. Um, so you're still going to see regular stuff from me. It's not that I'm not going to upload. It's just, I might slow it down just a, just a smidgen. But, um, anyway, uh, let's get started with the, with the first step one here. So we're going to set up and plan. So today's a pretty light day. I just want to go through and show you my process for creating a, uh, project. Uh, from scratch, I I actually <laughs> I did create the GitHub on a first video attempt, and I screwed something up, uh, and the video was had a lot of dead space in it. So actually, I stopped it and erased it. So the only thing you don't you won't see today is you won't see me spinning up the GitHub uh, repo. Uh, just a second. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, you won't see me spin up the GitHub, GitHub repo because it's already up. But everything else we're, we're going to be doing from scratch. So step one is set up your HTML and CSS files with some dummy content just to make sure you have everything linked correctly. Set up your GitHub repo. Re refer to past projects if you need a refresher. Download a full resolution copy of the design file and get a general idea of how you're going to need to lay things out in your HTML document. And that's what we're going to cover now. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I went out here and just simply created the new repo. If you haven't done it before, I, you should have because we've done it billions of times really with all these tests. But what I did is I just went over here um, to my repos. There's different places you can find it, but I click new, and then you start. You, you have to man. You have to give it a repo name. You can give a description as optional. Make it public. Uh, tick the box to add a readme file and then hit create repo. I won't do that since I've already done it, um, but that's how you would do it. And then once it's created, you end up on this page and you do this drop down here, copy this, which we're going to do now. So we're copying the SSH location of this GitHub repo so we can clone it, clone it down to our local machine. So after you've done all that, now you go uh, out your terminal and you're going to want to uh, CD into wherever it is you're keeping your, your project files. So I do the Odin project is my main folder and see that's where I have all my other 
projects that I've worked on before and just for uh, sake of simplicity I keep the name of my folder of my local copy the same as the name of my github project so in this case I'm going to um, uh, <clears throat> should be able to just do a a git clone here since I'm in the Odin project folder and we're gonna right click paste and then it's gonna pull down that project and there it is so now if we ls we'll see a new folder called right there called signup form which is the same name as my project <coughs> so if we cd into signup form ls it we'll see a readme file which is all that was in the um, in the project and then we know that our git, I always just do this git status to make sure my my github's working correctly or my git, yep, on branch main, it's up to date, of course, because we haven't done anything yet, working tree clean, working tree clean. So that's how I do that. Next step is I go into my VS Code terminal and I go ahead and I just add to this existing workspace, add new file, actually, sorry, not new file. The uh, thing about doing it live is uh, it's it's not scripted, so uh, it can be a little uh, a little messy at times. So new folder, um, and we're um, sorry, not new folder. We're going. We want to um, right click and do add folder to workspace. <coughs> so we're going to do the setup form hit add there it is all the way at the bottom excuse me I'm sorry so now we need to create a couple files so the first thing I do is create my files so I'm going to new file index.html and then I'm going to also create a new file called style.css you can see these are you for unmodified um, it's just git there's git is tracked inside of uh, an extension inside VS code that's why they're showing up like that because they're um, marked for change and so uh, one of the first things I do on my index file is um, I get my boilerplate by hitting uh, bang or exclamation point and hitting enter and I get all that <coughs> and um, I link my CSS and I don't recall off the top of my head how I've done that so let me pull up not that let me pull up a, a index that has it linked okay there we go so I'm just gonna simply copy this just for simplicity's sake and I'm going to paste that in my head And since it's all, um, well, this isn't, sorry, wrong one. See, uh, <laughs> actually, we're going to do that anyway. Um, not clean, I know, but we're going to do uh, script.js because we just put that in there anyway. And so we have that deferred, and I need to go back to index. So I can get these. There we go. That's what I was originally after. A style sheet. Okay. Put that above. Cause I like to have my just just a creature of habit. I like to have my um, save all. I like to have my uh, link my links from my CSS before my script file. And get rid of that. Okay. So we have our basic structure set up here. And we just double check to make sure that our git is tracking. We should have three three reds. So yep. Yep. So we're good there. They see them. So we know we're in the correct folder and we're making them in the correct folder. Um, always double check that. It's always good. And then um, so we've set up our HTML and our CSS, and we had JavaScript too. I don't know if we'll need it. I may end up removing it, but we'll just leave it for now. Um, yeah, I may end up deleting it actually, because I don't think. Yeah, I'll leave it for for this moment. But 
Um, I don't think we need it. I've already read through this, and I don't think we need any JavaScript here. But anyway, set we set up our Git already, and now we're now we're gonna uh, basically have a um, a discussion. But before I do that, um, I'm gonna just for again sake of my process, I'm gonna call this uh, sign sign up form as the title just because and save that to control us and I usually always create a new tab out here and I drag out the index file so it can be uh, viewed and there it is sign up form is in the title uh, as it uh, needs to be so there's that so we got our basic skeletal setup we got the file sitting out here on our on our uh, browser ready to be viewed when we start putting stuff in it and um, going back to our sign up form so it says download a full resolution copy of the design file and get an idea for what you're going to do okay so this is what it looks like this is going to be the end result <clears throat> so I can already see I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks like there might be divs in here we're going to make divs because it looks like there's different sections there's I don't know if it's going to come through on the YouTube video, but on my monitor, I can see there's a slight color difference between here and here and here and here. So, and obviously this is its own div as well. So just thinking out loud, um, sometimes I go, I have a bad habit possibly of using too many divs and too many wrappers um, and maybe overcomplicating my code. But for sure, I'm going to have a div container that's going to be this whole page. Um, unless I choose to use the body tag, which I could do that too, I guess, but make it a flex because I could already tell right here, <coughs> just like the landing page, landing page, we're going to need flex. And I would, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I, I, looking at this though and thinking about all the skeletal work I'll have to do on HTML and CSS, I'm really, um, I'm really uh, wanting to just use a preprocessor <laughs> and or framework, but because it's I've already read ahead and it's telling us you know that we're not given the green light to do that <laughs> um, I won't do that even though we just learned about it and it would be a perfect opportunity scenario to you know lick this project up real quick spin it up and be done with it um, it would probably do I've no I have no experience with with frameworks and preprocessors and libraries but I'm assuming it would make mark this up and mock it up pretty easily and pretty fast but anyway I can see there's gonna be some uh, flex displaying going on probably some divs probably some different wrappers kinda like uh, basically very 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 similar to what we had in landing page I kinda mentioned that earlier so that's kinda where my, my mind's going with it as I start to build it out uh, piece by piece I'll probably do a small video going over each section like I a lot like I did the format will probably be a lot like uh, landing page so it, um, the, there could be one two three you know four four five six videos maybe um, to complete complete it just smaller bite sized sections hopefully uh, smaller videos um, unless I get in the groove like I did with Etch-a-Sketch and I don't want to get out of the zone I just keep coding that was a rarity and oddity and um, I probably won't run into that but so I'll find good places to stop that make a, a good video um, and go ahead and do an upload for you guys so that's basically it so we're supposed to basically talk about gathering our ideas for what we're gonna do and I kinda just did that so I'll uh, keep this tab up and so I have something to reference here you know it says to download a resolution copy full resolution copy which whatever not sure exactly what they mean by that because it's just a <laughs> it's just a CDN link so um, anyway so next time we'll be doing gathering assets and starting to slowly build this out so um, I probably won't run the other sections like this where we do it live just just because it can get dirty and messy and not clean um, I know it makes for you know a better video to watch but um, a lot of times it you know it, as you guys know when you're coding you bounce around from thing to thing and and um, 
you know, it's hard to, to talk through it and, and write at the same time and the video not be, you know, the recording not be a billion minutes long. <laughs> so um, unless I get a really simple little section that's only got a, like a couple lines of code, I might do that. But if it's getting kind of complicated, I probably won't um, do it live like this. But anyway, there's a little treat for you, a little live getting started action, uh, getting everything set up and getting our repo down and uh, getting it local on the machine and getting everything set up inside of VS Code so we can get started. Um, again, like I said, I'll put JavaScript here on the end. I'll leave the linkage up for now, um, but uh, I have a feeling I'll be removing it. Um, but we'll leave it for now in case we need it since it's already been built. So with that said, uh, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And uh, let me go. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys uh, think uh, so far and how your uh, how your understanding is of sign up form um, if you've done it yet or if you're just kind of following along. So um, with that said, till next time, see ya.